What's up you guys, Avery here, wanted to bring you guys a brand new video today talking about some Code of the Duelist rarities and also wanted to talk about some of the new Vendred support that got announced the other day on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! YGO organization, excuse me, um, and I also want to thank you guys for finally getting the channel back up to 700 subscribers, I really do appreciate it, my channel's been kind of lacking um, with uh, the subscriber count, unfortunately, I was at 710, and it's kind of dropped off a little bit, but I think we're finally on the increase, I think we're finally on the rise, I'm going to continue to post daily so that that can continue to rise, so thank you guys so much for helping me get back to 700 subscribers, but with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's video, so you may have seen this elsewhere, but hard confirmation is always good, Rescue Ferret is going to be a secret rare, most likely due to its effect to get out any monster over level 6 if you have a Link monster. Now, for those of you who don't know what Rescue Ferret does, uh, I'm actually going to pull it up here right quick. And as you can see right here, you guys, it clearly is a secret rare. I was able to find a picture on uh, Google real quick. But its effect is that you can shuffle this card you control into the deck, special summon monster or monsters from your deck, except Rescue Ferret, whose total levels equal 6, to your zone or zones a link monster or monsters points to, but those summon monsters have their effects negated. Also, destroy them during the end phase. You can only use the effect of res Rescue Ferret once per turn. It's pretty much a uh, one-card link summon, or even a one-card exceed. So it's very, very, very good. I could definitely see it being a card... Uh, uh, being played heavily in the meta so kind of sucks that it's also going to be a secret rare along with firewall dragon but i mean i'm buying seven boxes so i'm bound to pull at least one of each of those right <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into the code of the duel stuff uh we got vendren hound horde plus re-origin um artwork i guess this is the confirmed tcg text for the hound horde card so first one we got is vendred hound horde it is a level three dark zombie type effect monster zero attack 2100 defense so it's got dead ass though <laughs> If this card is in your graveyard, you can discard one Vendred card, special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. A Vendred monster ritual summon using this card on the field gains the following effect. You can only use each of the preceding effects of Hound Horde once per turn. So once per turn, quickie, you can target one spell or trap your opponent controls, banish it. Um, and this is my first time reading these cards, so like, don't think I, I read these in advance. So this comes as much of a surprise to me as it does to you guys. Um, it doesn't seem that bad. I mean, the fact that it you know has an engrave effect, um, pitch any Vendred card to special summon it, gives it recursion, which is nice. Banish it when it leaves the field. I mean, that's that's fine. It's basically a plague spreader. And then it basically has a Dejin effect to where uh, it, that ritual monster will gain an effect. So pretty much, you're going to want to summon the ritual Vendred monster using this guy. Um, God, what, what was his name? He, he was some Marvel character. I forget his name. Uh, but anyway, that, that's what the ritual monster is, some sort of Marvel character. Um... But then it gains a quick effect to target a spell or trap the opponent controls and banishes it. So it becomes a uh, a galaxy cyclone. Or, a, yeah, I think that's the right term. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, it's it seems like a pretty good card. Um, the, the massive ass defense is what makes it pretty good. I don't see this being played a lot in Vendreds. I haven't really kept up with Vendreds, to be completely honest. But I like looking at the support that they get uh, every now and again. It, but it's not going to be a deck that I'm going to play. It might be good. It might not. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens over here in TCG land. Then for their normal trap, we got Vendred Origin. Kind of looks like Harambe dying. <laughs> I mean, it's just like a giant-ass skeleton. Um, you can target one fist of monster your opponent controls that has a level. Tribute it, and if you do, special summon one Vendred token. Zombie-type dark attack and defense zero with a level equal to the tributed monster's original level. And while the token special summon by this effect is on the field, you cannot normal summon or special summon monsters except Vendred monsters. Okay. I like anything that deals with tokens, <laughs> especially with Link Summoning. So, okay, you have to tribute a monster. That's not terrible. I mean, especially if you tribute Hound Horde. You could tribute Hound Horde and they get uh, Hound Horde's effect off. Then you get to special summon the token. Um, and then its level will be equal to the tributed monster's original level. So if you tribute Hound Horde, then it will be a level 3. And then... While it's on the field, you can't no more special summon monsters except Vendred, so that's not really a big deal. So this could actually be used for multiple things. Number one, you could use it to tribute off Hound Horde to give yourself a token, get a level 3 token, then have like a Plague Spreader zombie on the field to synchro with it, or just to even link summon with it. So I think this card's actually pretty interesting. Um, I don't know if it's going to be played in the Vendred deck, but I don't see it as really a terrible card. And that's what I've noticed with the majority of the Vendred stuff that I've seen and heard about, is that these Vendred cards, like, pretty much 95, if not all, 95% uh, if not all of the cards that they've gotten for support so far are actually pretty decent so I like the fact that Konami is really giving support to uh, zombies in all these other forms I mean they've got Shunrai which is pretty much synchro based now they've got Vendreds which is ritual based um, 
I think that this is going to be a pretty decent archetype here in the TCG. I think it is even TCG uh, exclusive as well. I'm not too sure. Um, but I just kind of wanted to bring this to you guys real quick because there's not much news on YG Organization today. I was checking it and uh, there's just really not a lot of news other than these two things. So I figured I would cover it and um, talk to you guys about it and get y'all's thoughts on Vendreds. What do you guys think about Vendreds as a whole? Do you think they're going to be a good deck? Do you think they're not going to be a good deck? Personally, I'm not really excited for them just because it, it doesn't seem like a deck that I would want to play personally, but maybe you guys will want to. Um, I'm, I'm still thinking I might play uh, True Draco, this format. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm waiting to see what I get out of my seven boxes of Code of the Duelist, which will be on my channel via a live stream. So around August 4th, be sure that you got Ding Dong notification bell turned on so that you will be able to see a live stream of me opening up seven boxes of Code of the Duelist. But that's about all I have for you guys today. So if you enjoyed, be sure to smash that like button. Be sure to hit that notification bell. Be part of the hashtag Notification Squad. And you too could be the notification bay of the day. Thank you guys for watching as always and subscribe if you've not already.